So this week, we will learn that how we can collect data from uh, social media. Uh, so the basic idea is that we will first, we will learn that how we can collect data by using APIs. So those are the, um, the best uh, ways that a different social media platform and also different resources that allow you to collect data um, by using different programming tools like Python. And second, we will use uh, Twitter as an example. So however, like the other social media, like LinkedIn, Facebook, et cetera, uh, they all have the similar uh, APIs. Secondly, so we will use the API to collect data from those different social media. So in this case, uh, we are going to use Twitter. And we are going to save the data into MongoDB. So as we said that, uh, MongoDB is the uh, most famous uh, non-relational database and that is, uh, is a great solution that we store the unstructured data. So for example, social media data that um, most social media data, they provide the data in a JSON format. Okay, so MongoDB is the great container that to store data, um, to store those JSON data. Okay, so I think we all use social media, so Twitter, etc. So uh, here is a short uh, video. Okay, uh, so we know that p um, social media now has become a very important uh, data resource where uh, we can understand what people are talking about and hopefully we will know that pe what people are thinking about. Uh, so today we are try we are use Twitter API. So that is called that is application programming interface. So that provides you um, an easy way that you can collect tweets that you are interested, and you can also uh, making queries define what keywords you want. Uh, so if you want to read more about the uh, REST API or the uh, Stream API that we are going to use. So that is the document that you can check. So the basic process is that first, uh, you need to apply for an API account. Uh, so you need to have a Twitter account first. And next, you will need to apply for a developer account. On that um, de developer account, uh, you will be able to apply for a Twitter API. So API will give you some tokens and the secrets. So those. Uh, we will make sure that you can get those authorized uh, data. So you can send authorized requests to Twitter server, and Twitter will send back uh, your uh, the data that you, you're requesting. So those tokens and also secrets, okay, so tokens and secrets is more like a password and also username, so that uh, Twitter will know that who are sending out those requests, and they will approve those requests and also they will send back the, the data that you want. Uh, so most APIs, uh, they provide REST API and a stream API. So REST API is, is more like that you are, you are searching the tweets, uh, define some keywords, and also they give you some result and that has been already been posted. So some tweets already been posted. A uh, stream API, like the name that being uh, like the name indicated, that you are streaming the tweets uh, in a real time. Okay, uh, so REST API give you historic tweets, and stream API give you the tweets that in a near real time. Both APIs return data in JSON format. So uh, JSON has now been extremely popular um, on internet, so that. Um, many social media and also many agencies now are using JSON as a major data format. And pay attention that some APIs are not free. So if you have a Twitter account and if you want to register your own uh, develop account and also have your own APIs, and uh, make sure, pay attention that not all the APIs are free. So uh, in this class, we are going to use the, the free APIs However, in the future, if you want to search for some of the, uh, the entire tweets, then you have to pay for those APIs. So what is Stream API? So Stream API is basically that you 
um, create a connection um, between our client and also the Twitter server. So now they uh, they call it the uh, JNIP. Okay. So it will establish this connection, and also once the connection being established, uh, so based on the queries that you define, so they will uh, send back all the tweets in the real time. Okay, and when you establish those connections, uh, you will send send your uh, API keys and the secrets so that they will know. Okay, so you are um, authorized to get those information. Okay, and you will you will receive those information in a in a near real time. A REST API is like like deliver uh, data in batches. Okay, so that through the repeated request. So it's more like that. If you are client, you send out a request, okay, uh, to their server, and server will okay give you the requested data, and later on, so you send out another request, and they will give you send back the the data. Okay, so that is the REST API. Again, um, both APIs. Um, so for the standard APIs, okay, for example, in the REST API. Like, that as example, so if you are using stand APIs, you can only search tweets that posted in the past seven days. Okay, for stream API, you can only uh, collect tweets in the real time. Uh, for REST API, if you are using the standard API, you can collect tweets in the past seven days. Um, and you will not have the entire tweets. Okay, so even you have, let's say, millions of tweets in collected, uh, it's not guaranteed, and actually, it's almost sure that you will not have the entire tweets. So, if you want to collect tweets that in, let's say, in the past 30 days, or even that tweets that when uh, as early as 2006, you have to pay for that uh, API. So, those will not be free. Okay, so you have to pay for those APIs. Okay, so uh, in sum, so REST API collect tweets that have already been sent. So for the free version, it, you can get that in seven days. And for the paid version, uh, you can get back early to uh, 2006. Uh, stream API capture tweets that in near real time. Okay, so that's the first difference. And REST API is, is really limited by how many calls that you can make. Okay, so if you are using a free version, for example, you can only get you can only make 400 requests within every 50 minutes window, and also for each single request, you can only collect 100 tweets. Okay, so for example, that if you want each single request, you can collect 100 tweets, and you can make those 400 requests within 50 every 50 minutes. So for one hour. So that's how many tweets you can make by using a standard REST API. Uh, if you are using a paid version, so you, you will have, uh, you will be able to access more tweets. For streaming API, it's limited that how many tweets it will be delivered. So again, if you are using a free API, so um, there are rumors saying that you can only get 101% of the total tweets. Okay, I never find this number from the official Twitter uh, document, but many other resources said that you can get no more than 1% of the total tweets by using a free uh, streaming API. However, so if you are using if you are using the premier API, so probably you will be able to get all the tweets.